Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Data Toolkit. In today's tutorial, we will learn the Informatica interview question part 9 and this question is related to Wipro company. So let's understand. The first question is which database is used in your project? So accordingly to your project, you can answer the question. So you can say like uh, Oracle, SQL Server, Teradata or any cloud database like Snowflake or Redshift. Next question, how proficient you are in Informatica? So you can answer like, I am hands on and experienced in designing, developing and the optimizing ETL workflow. I have also worked on the advanced features like session partitioning, push down optimization and the handling large scale data integration project. Next question, have you used XML parser transformation? If you use then only answer yes, otherwise no. So the answer is yes, I have used the XML parser transformation in Informatica to pass and extract data from XML files. It allowed me to convert XML data into structured format. Next question, difference between filter and router transformation. So in the filter transformation, it is row based on a single specified condition. Router rows to different target based on the multiple conditions. In filter transformation, passes or discard each row based on the filter condition. But in router, passage is passes each row to one or more output group based on the defined conditions. In filter, only one filter condition can be defined in filter transformation. But in router, we can filter the more conditions. Filter transformation single output group for rows that meet the conditions. And here the multiple output group each for the different condition plus it is the, it have the default group. So in the filter condition, filter transformation, it remove the rejected records, but in router transformation, it allow the rejected record in the default group by default. Next question, what are the unconnected lookup property? So you can answer unconnected lookup properties are incoming fields, lookup object, lookup conditions and return fields. Next question, what kind of benefit you can see in unconnected lookup if we use other than connected lookup. So you can answer avoiding unnecessary lookup row means the lookup is only used when it is needed for specific row. This save time and resource because it doesn't check every row in the data. But unconnected lookup it check the every rows in the data that's why the performance of the unconnected lookup is also good rather than connected lookup. Next question, what is the flow run order in Informatica? So the flow, flow run order we can also call target load order. It specifies the sequence in which data is loaded into the multiple target table, ensuring the proper dependency and data flow. If you understand more uh, on the flow run order, you can check my YouTube channel. 58th chapter you can see flow run order in Informatica. So I have covered everything in flow run order. So it will clear your concept. Next question is what is use of PMCMD command? The PMCMD command in Informatica is a powerful utility for managing workflow and tasks from the command line. It allow user to execute, monitor, stop and schedule workflow. Additionally, it support passing dynamic parameter files overriding variables and retrieving logs for troubleshooting. Next question, have you used character function in SQL? You can answer yes, SQL provides several character functions that are commonly used for string manipulations. Here are a few examples, upper, lower, concat, trim, length and replace. This is all are the character function. So you can explain these character functions one by one. Next question, difference between rank and dense rank. The answer, rank does not skip any number while assigning the rank and the dense rank can skip the number if there are ties. So you can see the example, you can also mention the example in the interview. For example, rank 1, 2, 2, 4, so it skip the number of 3 and in dense rank it 1, 2, 2, 3. Next question, find the position of view character of your name. So I have taken the name country. So you can see select insert, insert function you can use here. Select insert INSTR country your name. 
then you can assign the uh, you can take the u character here as position from country so you will get the result like this third position you will get next question how to select from multiple tables in sql so you can answer by using the sql join clause like inner join leave join to combine data based on related column or use the union to merge the result from multiple query with the same structure next question have you work on store procedure so yes i have work on the store procedure store procedure in sql is group of sql queries that can be saved and reused multiple times store procedure are created to perform one or more dml operations on the database so you can tell these small examples also this is the simple example create procedure simple procedure this is the procedure name as begin select hello world end and execute simple proc this is the execute is the keyword when we want to execute the store procedure and this is the procedure name so this store procedure when you execute simply it return the message hello world next question difference between view and metadata view so view is the virtual table based on select query and metadata view it is a physical copy of data stored as a table in view does not store the data fetch the data dynamically but in metadata view it store the data physically in database so view slow slower for the complex query as data is fetch on demand but in metadata metadata view master for complex query due to pre computed data in view it always show the latest data from underlying tables but in metadata view it become the outdated or require manual refresh so this is all about the wipro company questions guys so i will come up with the more interview questions and i believe that you will crack your interview easily so if you feel this video is informative please like comment and share my video thanks for watching keep growing and learning